In Illinois, a life sentence means a life sentence. Even inmates who are terminally ill will remain there until they die. But a new plan would give inmates a chance to spend their final days with their loved ones. WC93's Cole Henke has the story about a family who didn't have that opportunity. Joe Coleman died in prison. He was sentenced to life on a theft charge for stealing $640 from a gas station attendant. He became terminally ill in 2019, and his family tried to apply for clemency so he could die at home surrounded by loved ones, but they couldn't get it done in time. I, couldn't, I felt I couldn't do anything. We couldn't do anything to move the process along fast enough. Coleman remained a part of his children's lives throughout his time in prison. It was through uh, letter writing. He was always right, always right, and want to know what's going on with everybody, and uh, we would write him back. But in the end, a line of seemingly never-ending legal hurdles blocked Coleman from seeing his family one last time. Illinois is one of two states without a medical release program. Because Illinois until now has made it really, really difficult, almost impossible, for a person to be released once the sentence has been imposed, no matter what's changed in the interim. Coleman's children led the charge with Illinois inmate advocates to change that. Now, if the governor signs the bill, other families won't have to go through what Coleman's went through. The medical release program would allow terminally ill inmates to leave their cells and spend the last of their lives with family. The Coleman's know they can't get that time back, but that didn't stop them from fighting for others. Daddy is gone, and, you know, we can't do anything about that. We just want to go forward, and we want this, you know, in place where other people, other families, these are human beings, where other families can benefit. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hankey, WCIA3, your local news leader. Illinois and Iowa are the only states currently without some form of medical release. The proposal is now headed to the governor's desk, and if he signs it, it'll become law. Well, it was a